I confess to spreading the rumor on orders from Goldstein that the war is not really with Eurasia, but with East Asia. And that for years, in fact since the days of our glorious revolution, I had no faith in our future. I forged government announcements and falsified figures quoted for agricultural and industrial countries. As a result of mental disturbance dating from my experiences during the atomic wars, I was a willing subject of Goldstein's influence. I was stubborn and egocentric. When own life thoughts occurred to me, I reveled in them. I went into the proletarian zones. I had sex with prostitutes. I deliberately contracted syphilis. It was at this time that I made contact with the resistance. I was personally contacted by the arch traitor Goldstein and ordered to assassinate certain inner party officials. Bugger. This I did. My agents forged documents and gained entry to the Ministry of Truth. Thought crime is death. Thought crime does not entail death. I deliberately Thought crime is death. But the result. I have committed, even before setting pen to paper, the essential crime that contains all others in itself. many hours of my free time encouraging my agents to deface party posters and hoarding announcements. I read and memorized Goldstein's book. For 30 years, I have plotted to bring down the party. I was sick in mind and body. <laughs> 